Good morning, dear students. Uh, today we will be starting off with uh, module three of uh, digital switching system. Uh, in that, the first part which we'll be covering is telecommunications or uh, traffic. Uh, so, in this, uh, we'll be uh, uh, covering the topics uh, which are related to introduction of tele uh, telecommunications traffic. Then, uh, what is the unit of uh, traffic? Then, congestion and uh, followed by traffic measurement, mathematical model, lost call systems, and queuing systems. Uh, so in the introduction part before we uh, proceed uh, further uh, before we start off with any process or any of the industry which has to be started off or any other stuff uh, we have to decide on few of the parameters uh, such as uh, say what is the size what is the capacity what is the throughput required uh, how many number of workers may be required etc maybe uh, have to thought of before starting off with the process so similarly in a telecommunication uh, purpose uh, we have to decide on few of the parameters uh, which are relevant to telecommunication uh, parameters so there's uh, these can be uh, such as uh, what is the traffic capacity number of trunks required how many switching stages are required what is the type of system to be used so these are just a few things uh, which we have specified and a few of the parameters uh, will be going ahead and uh, learning forward so before going into this we should uh, understand few of the parameters or a few of the terminologies which are used in telecommunication uh, engineering so the first parameter which i have to look forward is uh, what is meant by a trunk uh, since these terms are will be utilized uh, henceforth in uh, common terminologies so we should understand uh, what are these terms uh, specified as uh, the first one is a uh, trunk uh, it is the entity which carries a call so if i just compare it to the telecommunication system it is nothing but a kind of wire say a copper cable which is uh, present between a caller and the collie uh, so that it can be uh, in terms of uh, say kilometers meters depending on how far uh, the caller and the called person is now next comes the terminology which is uh, the trunking now it is the arrangement of trunks and switches within a telephone exchange so it basically gives us the idea of how what is the overall structure of the uh, switching or telephone exchange uh, next one uh, if we uh, just uh, look at figure 1.1 uh, 1, uh, we can just see a small graph which represents uh, how many call sign progress for a given amount of time uh, so here uh, if, I, if we just observe uh, we can see that uh, number of calls in progress can vary uh, depending on uh, the uh, timing what we have chosen now next one uh, which is there that is in uh, figure 1.2 we can see if we consider the entire uh, day that is a 24 hours what we consider and if we see how many calls in progress at a given uh, on a given day uh, it it can have different variations so an example which is uh, shown in figure 1.2 we can just see that from in uh, from uh, 12 night to morning 5 there are no calls at all so this is a natural uh, process or the number of calls is uh, too low then apart from this if we just see as we as the day progresses uh, there is a peak time at several several points so one is at this point one is at this point and one is at the other point uh, so here uh, we can uh, see that this may be the variation which is uh, present in the uh, calls which are in progress during a given day now apart from that uh, if we uh, just see we can see in the graph that we have specified something as busy hour so what is basically a busy hour uh, it is the period of one hour uh, which corresponds to the peak traffic load so in uh, the figure it is nothing but the time period from 10 to 11 am so which is a one hour duration that is 60 uh, 60 minutes so this is termed as a busy hour because we are having the maximum peak at this point now next uh, going further uh, we have to identify what is the unit of uh, traffic so before that we should identify what is meant by traffic or traffic intensity uh, it is the average number of calls which are in progress so this gives me what is what meant by traffic in telecommunication systems then what is the unit of traffic that is the uh, what is the unit which is relevant to the average number of calls which are in progress so uh, traffic is basically measured in Erlang uh, it is uh, related to something uh, called as Erlang distribution because the calling system uh, replicates uh, Erlang distribution uh, so uh, going further it was uh, identified by AK Erlang uh, was a Danish pioneer of traffic so based on uh, 
his name the traffic of uh, unit of traffic is uh, specified as erlang Uh, then on a group of trunks uh, the average number of calls in progress depends on two parameters that is uh, one is the number of calls which arrive and the duration of the calls which have arrived so these are two parameters on which the average number of calls in progress depends now next uh, we have something called as uh, holding time uh, so it is nothing but the duration of the call now why it is termed as holding time it is termed as holding time because uh, during whenever the call is in progress and uh, uh, it it is in progress so what happens is it holds the trunk or the line therefore uh, it is termed as holding time and then uh, before going further uh, if we just look at the figure 1.3 in that uh, we can uh, just see how one erlang of traffic is being uh, obtained uh, by uh, three uh, trunks so if we just look at the uh, first one only one trunk is busy for the entire uh, duration of the time so this itself can uh, give me a traffic of uh, one erlang similarly i can obtain a traffic of one erlang when two lines are busy or two trunks are busy so this is obtained when uh, they are busy half of the time period So next one, uh, the third case that is uh, 1.3c figure. Uh, if you just observe, one length of traffic can be obtained even when the three trunks are busy for one third of the time. So this is how I can obtain one length of traffic by different different configurations. Uh, okay, it is repetition. Uh, so uh, next one uh, what is the uh, in uh, different areas uh, the traffic can be expressed in uh, different terms so in north america if you just observe uh, it is expressed in hundreds of call seconds per hour so in short it is termed as cccs so if we uh, just observe uh, we had termed the 1 uh, hour uh, if we uh, just convert it into seconds it is 3600 seconds so here hundreds of call seconds so 36 hundreds of call seconds so if i consider this for the call seconds then it turns out to be one erlang is equal to 36 ccs so this is this is uh, uh, the unit of uh, traffic in north america now uh, considering uh, erlang as the uh, unit uh, for measurement of traffic uh, we'll uh, move further uh, now if we consider that a is uh, the traffic in erlangs and c is the average number of call arrivals during the time t uh, which is considered uh, then uh, please uh, omit this this is lower case h so lower case h is the average call holding time then uh, we can measure then the traffic carried by the group of trunk is given by a is equal to c into h divided by t which is given in equation 1.1 so a basically gives me the traffic which is carried carried by the group of trunks so based on equation 1.1 uh, we can solve uh, several problems uh, so if we just look at the first one a certain exchange a total number of 5000 calls are originated during the busy hour if the average holding time of a call is 2.5 minutes calculate the flow of traffic during this period so indirectly he is asking uh, what is the uh, traffic which is being carried for these parameters which have been specified so if i just uh, look forward for this problem again uh, if i just read it out at certain exchange of total a uh, total of 5000 calls so what is the specification 5000 calls are being originated so this basically gives me the value of c so if i if i just observe c is the average number of calls during a time interval what you are considering so here uh, we have a uh, 5000 calls which are being originated and it is being originated during uh, what it is being originated during the busy hour so if it is specified as busy hour then it is this calls are being recorded for during that one hour session so in this case the capital t which is there is nothing but it is equivalent to one hour and if i convert it into minutes it is 60 minutes so which is uh, being uh, obtained from the given information then after that it specifies that average holding time of a call is 2.5 minutes so that is lower case h is 2.5 minutes now since this is in minutes this also has to be in minutes if suppose if this was specified in hours this can also be in hours now it is all relevant because i have 
uh, because we have the units which will be cancelling off here now in uh, uh, using the previous equation 1.1 uh, 1 we can see that uh, we have a is equal to c into uh, please uh, omit this this is uh, lowercase h divided by t so we have uh, c is the number of calls that is uh, 5000 into 2.5 which is the holding uh, time which is in minutes divided by 60 minutes which is the capital T value and uh, which turns out to be 208.3 erlangs so moving further or uh, looking up after for the uh, next uh, problem uh, on an average uh, during the busy hour a company makes 120 outgoing calls of average duration 2 minutes it receives 200 incoming calls of average duration 3 minutes uh, find the outgoing traffic incoming traffic and the total traffic uh, so here uh, if we just make an observation i have to identify the outgoing traffic traffic separately incoming traffic separately and if i combine both the traffic i'll be getting the overall traffic so here if i just uh, make a look at uh, the given information he is specifying that uh, on an average duration uh, during the busy hour so he is specifying that the measurement is for the busy hour that is for one hour which is equivalent to 60 minutes a company makes 120 outgoing calls so these are there are 120 outgoing calls and uh, average duration of two minutes so outgoing calls have a holding time of two minutes and it receives 200 incoming calls so these are the number of calls which are incoming that is 200 and they have an average duration of three minutes so this gives me the information of holding time for the incoming calls so if i have to identify the traffic uh, whether it is outgoing or incoming i can make use of the equation 1.1 uh, that is a is equal to c into h divided by t uh, so if i uh, just observe what we have uh, outgoing traffic that is uh, a which we had specified is equal to number of outgoing calls into holding time of the outgoing calls divided by the time period considered for the calls now here how many uh, outgoing calls do i have i have 120 outgoing calls and what is the holding time for them it is two minutes so it is 120 into two and this measurement was done during the busy hour therefore it is this is two minutes and this is 60 minutes which turns out to be four erlangs similarly if i just observe for the next one that is incoming traffic if i, if I um, look at that it is number of incoming calls into holding time of incoming calls divided by time period considered for the calls uh, so please uh, cancel this off as all it is actually the time period considered for the uh, incoming calls uh, so 200 into 3 because uh, we have 200 incoming calls and the holding time is 3 and it is divided by the busy hour because t is equal equal to busy hour which is 60 minutes so which turns out to be 4 hour length and last part is uh, the total traffic which is nothing but outgoing traffic plus the incoming traffic which turns out to be 14 hour lengths so we'll move ahead with the uh, next problem uh, that is problem 1.3 so during the busy hour an average on average a customer with a single telephone line makes three calls and receives three calls so uh, the average call duration is two minutes uh, what is the probability that a caller will find the line engaged so slightly a different uh, problem in a different way but he is asking the same thing again so if we uh, just uh, go through the problem again that is he is specifying that the hour which is considered for measurement is the busy hour therefore it is equivalent to 60 minutes or one hour and uh, a customer with a single telephone line makes three calls so this is nothing but this is the there are three outgoing calls and uh, receives three calls so this is nothing but there are three out uh, incoming calls and uh, both of which have a holding time of two minutes so whether it is incoming or outgoing both have the same holding time in this case that is two minutes now he's asking what is the probability that a caller will find the line engaged so if I uh, just look at uh, what does A specify, A is the traffic carried by the group of trunk. So this value A or uh, the uh, traffic carried by the group of trunk is nothing but it gives me the probability that the traffic is, what is the probability that the uh, line is occupied. So it uh, indirectly specifies that it gives the probability that the line is being engaged or the probability of occupancy of the line. Uh, therefore uh, it is nothing but it is an indirect calculation of the traffic which is being carried 
so which will directly give me the probability that a caller will find the line engaged that is if a person calls what is the probability that he'll find the line engaged will be given by the value a itself so here uh, we have a probability that a caller will find the line engaged is nothing but the probability that the occupancy of the line or uh, probability of the occupancy of the line which is nothing but the total a why total a in uh, this case is because we have to consider both the incoming and the outgoing traffic so both combined together will give me the occupancy of the line so therefore uh, it is nothing but incoming traffic and the outgoing traffic so if i just observe incoming traffic for incoming traffic that is the receives three calls so there are three calls and uh, the average holding time for uh, the uh, incoming call is two minutes and uh, the uh, capital t which is considered uh, as 60 minutes that is the time period during which it is being observed is 60 minutes plus the outgoing call so there are uh, three outgoing calls there can be three outgoing calls three and average holding time is uh, two minutes so three into two divided by 60 minutes which is turns around to, to be 0.2 erlang so this is nothing but 0.2 is the probability that a line will be engaged when a caller makes a call to that line so this is uh, the end of the session so we'll continue in the uh, next class thank you